What's up guys, JFM here, back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition update video. Today I'm going to be showcasing the full alpha build for 0.11.0. This is going to be alpha build 1, so I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs of everything they have added. Also I want to mention, I have already uh, filmed a tutorial on how to get yourself into the beta if you have an Android device, so I'll link that in the description below, as well as a change log for the whole update. So, I hope you guys do enjoy. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, starting with the mobs. Alright, so the first mob that they've added is squids, and it's really simple. Squids are what we all know and love just from the PC version, and it's simple as that. One cool thing is, if I can get this to work, there we go, they've also added baby squids, which is really, really cool. Also, as a version exclusive feature, if you hit a squid, it will squirt out a ton of ink that gets in your way and you can't really see where it is anymore. Unless you go chase it and hit it again. So, yeah, those are the squids. Alright, as you guys can see here, they've also added bats into the game. These guys will usually be found in caves. I just did spawn these ones, though. Um, that's right, they do have a spawn egg as well. Uh, so yeah, these are some of the new mobs. They're neutral, they won't attack you, they're just, I don't know, cute little bats. I mean, they're cute for, they're cute for a bat, I gotta admit. But yeah. So there they are, and they usually wouldn't be found up on the top of the world like this. I just decided to spawn them to make the video a little bit easier to make. Also, I thought it would be worthy to mention that under rare circumstances, you can find a baby zombie. So I'm going to go turn down the volume. Goodness gracious, that was really loud. And we're going to try to spawn one of these baby zombies to show. Um, these zombies can also be found riding chickens, which is really cool. They've also added spider jockeys as well. So if I can find pictures of those, I'll go ahead and do that and, and add them as an overlay. But I'm not going to be trying to do that in this gameplay because that would take a long time to find. Ah, and there we go, our first baby zombie. Now, it is kind of weird how they don't burn in the day like the rest of their zombie buddies, but there we have it. A baby zombie and they run really fast and they're pretty cute for a zombie. Another mob they've added is cave spiders. Now I gotta be honest with you, I could not find cave spiders anywhere. I couldn't really find any mine shafts either. They just weren't generating for me, so I don't know if that's something with build 1, but hopefully I can update you guys on that later. Also, unlike the other new mobs, Cave spiders actually didn't get a mob spawner egg. We have the regular spiders, but still no cave spiders. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure what that's all about. Hopefully they can fix that in beta build 2. Alright guys, so I found a zombie in a cave, and I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool that they've added to the zombies, which hasn't been in the game uh, at all, and it's rotten flesh. So these guys will now drop rotten flesh, which you can go ahead and hold and also eat, uh, but it will poison you, and that's one of the new effects. There we have it, the poison effect, which is completely blocked out by the beta watermark. But yeah, there are some new poison effects as well, and I don't know if this is actually going to kill me or not, but uh, that's all I really wanted to show anyways. <laughs> Also, while I'm, you know, in the middle of it here, you can see there are new death messages now. So, I walked into the lava, and it says, Jack Frost Miner went up into flames. If I were to die of the poison, which actually doesn't happen, um, because it stops you on a half a heart, it would probably say something like, Jack Frost Miner was poisoned to death. If I walk over in the water and drown myself, it's probably gonna show me, you know suffocating underwater, which is impossible. Drowning is the word I'm looking for. But I'll go ahead and show you guys that now. And there we have it. As you guys can see, Jack Frost Miner drowned. That was the word I was looking for. Now we'll move along to something a little bit more exciting, fishing. All right, so I'm not going to go too in-depth into fishing, but you can actually fish in creative, which is really, really convenient. All you have to do is get a rod and use the interact button to go ahead and toss out a line. I haven't fished too much, and it's honestly not too easy. I, I'm not sure what's up with the fishing, although they have added the fishing and the fish to the game, as well as cooked fish. I'll show you guys that in just a second. I'll try to catch a fish here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Yep, as I suspected, no dice on the fishing. I'm not getting any bites, and uh, yeah, so that's something that they can definitely fix uh, for my tablet in the future, but at least I can show you guys what you could get if you could fish. Um, usually you'd pull up raw fish, uh, sometimes raw salmon, rarely you could pull up a clownfish, and rarely you could pull up a pufferfish. Um, the only two useful ones, though, would be the cooked, uh, the, the raw fish and the salmon, because those you can actually cook up and eat. The pufferfish and clownfish are just trophy fish that you can keep in your chest, locked away, and you can keep as prized possessions from your fishing endeavors. 
All right, next thing to showcase are the new boats. Now, these things are pretty sweet. They're huge, and they're also rideable, and they, you ride them by paddling like so. So you paddle one side, paddle the other side, paddle one side, paddle the other side, just like that. And if you want to go fast, you can just hold them both and go in a little bit of a uh, faster uh, motion. So it's really, really cool. It's, it's going to take a little getting used to, but as you can see, the paddles, you know, work, and uh, everything works out fairly good I mean it's it's really nice I really like it so just tap the corresponding side and you'll go off in the races it's really cool these can also hold different mobs up to two people uh, I'll show some pictures of that because I think it's actually pretty cute and really really funny um, they can also be made out of different types of wood but just for the convenience of this video I'll just stick to the creative boat while I'm in creative I may as well show some of the new blocks the first new block which got a lot of people excited it's still pretty cool but it's not what we thought it would be it's the redstone block this has no abilities it's just used to basically store redstone so just like you'd make a coal block you can make a redstone block it's just out of nine redstone and it makes a pretty cool looking block although it has no use it at least it's in the game you know we can't complain uh next up they've also added a few different stone bricks chiseled stone bricks are now added uh, cracked stone bricks and mossy stone bricks are also available in survival now, which is really, really cool and pretty convenient. Um, also, there are pressed dirt, which brings me up to another topic where they've also added shovels into the creative inventory. And I assume it's so that you can use shovels to create pressed dirt, or I think they're calling them trail blocks now. I'm not too sure. What these blocks are is basically just another another way to walk around. You can't really notice. There's no real difference in height when you're actually walking on the blocks, but they do look fairly nice uh, and it, I like it I like it so yeah alright now let's head back over to the main menu and GUI to show you guys a few other things um, over here we do have a language section which is pretty cool there are a ton of different languages uh, so that's pretty exciting for anyone that never spoke you know the native language of Minecraft Pocket Edition you can now change it to anything you like um, also over here in the settings you guys can see not much has changed but there is a whole new section right here the skins section Section. That's right, a skin section, which also allows you to upload a custom skin where you can browse your device to, uh, for a skin file that you downloaded offline. I'm not going to be doing that now. If you guys would like to see me uh, install a custom skin, I'd, be, I'd gladly do that for you. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to switch over to the Alex skin. You guys saw I was using the Steve skin. Let's go ahead and check this out now that we've changed the skin. So uh, I guess I could go to third person to show this better. But clearly, I am now using the new Alex skin with the Alex model. And it's really cool. As you can see, the arms are a little bit skinnier. The shoulders go a little bit above the arms. It's the new Minecraft model. So there we go. Um, you cannot actually access this from in-game. It's going to tell you to go back to the main menu if you do that. So you can do that. And I'll show you guys one more change of the skins to prove that this is no magic of the editing. This is all real. Uh, so let's go back into the world. And as you can see, I'm now Steve again. So you can use custom skins. I'm just not doing that for the sake of the video. But if you guys would like to see that, just let me know in the comments section below. You guys may notice that there's no more edit button on the top of the screen. It's just simply a little edit button on every single world. So you can go and hit the edit button on one of your worlds. It'll show you the seed, the name of the world, which you can change. You can't obviously change a seed because that doesn't even make sense. It'll give you the big red delete button on the top right. You can also change the game mode. That That's something we've never been able to do before, so that's pretty cool. You can also turn it on to Always Day, which is fairly useful for people that want to build things and never have to build through the night. I think that's really cool. Also, as you guys can see here, I'm now playing on an old world. This world is an old world, so it does have a, uh, a max limit. You can't go outside of these boundaries. Let's say I made a mistake. You know, I, I really, I really, I really undershot myself. Maybe I thought, you know, I built all, I built all around this world, and I wanted to actually expand my world. Now, all you have to do is go back to the settings back over here. Crash, which is something Minecraft Pocket Edition may do from now and then, once you're on the beta. Sorry about that. Um, but go back into your world and go ahead and edit it up. Then what you want to do is make infinite. It's going to show you this on worlds that aren't infinite. All you have to do is make infinite. And let's go pick this world. And now you guys can see that it is going to be not infinite. Hold on just a second. 
Yeah, it's the thought that counts. I thought I had that working before, it's just not working right now. So yet another problem with beta build one, but expect that to work in the future. Another thing I wanted to showcase is the hide chat ability. I think this is a really, really cool ability, although I don't think it's going to take away the mute button uh, on servers or the mute command on servers. I think it's gonna be very useful. Uh, on servers, you may still wanna see the server announcements, like for say, if you're playing Hunger Games, when the deathmatch is gonna start or something like that. So you may not wanna use hide you may still want to use mute but if the server is just getting annoying and you're getting frustrated with all the text you can just simply hit the hide button and you wouldn't see any chat and then when you're done when you're done being frustrated you can go ahead and uncheck hide i think it's a really really cool feature probably very simple and i think it's something that you know it's pretty convenient for anyone that would want that feature so yeah, that's basically all that they've added in this alpha build. Now I do want to mention that there are potion effects like jump boost, speed, resistance, and poison. Um, and also there are colored messages and custom messages just like that. But those are more of a server-based feature. Uh, they work on servers right now, and there's no real way to enable them on survival single-player world. So I wasn't going to focus on that. It's also going to be pretty hard to set that up. Um, so if you guys would like to see that, I could definitely do that for you, but I didn't think it was going to be too necessary for this video. Uh, but yeah, that was basically it. If you guys did enjoy, found anything I said in this video helpful or interesting, or you have any questions, go ahead and use that comment section below. Also, drop a like if you found this video helpful and enjoyed. That's all I have to say. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.